We at ABC News are saddened to report that a known sex offender has claimed the lives of six people, five children and one adult in a tragic murder-suicide in Oklahoma. The suspect, Jesse McFadden, was on parole after serving a 17-year sentence for a 2003 rape conviction. This senseless tragedy has horrified the nation and made us question how such an individual could have been released early in the first place. Broken laws are causing broken lives. Scott Fetgatter, a representative of Oklahoma, is now introducing a measure to prevent inmates convicted of rape and child sexual abuse from being released early. McFadden had been released in October 2020, only to be rearrested a month later for allegedly exchanging sexually explicit texts and photos through a contraband cell phone with a minor. On May 3, local law enforcement confirmed the bodies of McFadden, his wife, her three children, and two of their friends had been found dead from gunshot wounds. Justice for the victims must be done. While there is little that can bring back these five beautiful children and one adult, steps must be taken to ensure that such an act of violence does not occur once again. Oklahoma law allows for sex offenders to live with their own children and stepchildren, as long as the children are not victims of the offender. In this tragic case, Jesse McFadden lived in the same home as his wife and her three children, two of which were murdered alongside their mother. Loved ones of the victims have expressed their outrage that McFadden was released from prison early despite being charged for misconduct while he was there. Justin Webster, the father of Ivy Webster, one of the victims, has called for repercussions and accountability for what happened. The tragedy has definitely hit him hard, saying that he will never get to see his daughter or hold her again. The Oklahoma Department of Corrections has addressed the situation, saying that McFadden was eligible for early release once he had completed 85% of his sentence. Additionally, it was revealed that he had regained his eligible for early release status after serving a punishment from the charges of smuggling a cell phone into the prison. We stand with the victims in this tragedy and we strongly support Representative Scott Fetgatter in his proposed measure to halt the early release of convicted sex offenders. We must make sure that the broken laws of the past do not cause any more broken lives in the future.